there is this feeling you have, a feeling that there must be more to life than this. There must be more to work than what you do. And you're not apologizing for that anymore. The past two years took a heavy toll on anyone. You hear about stories of the great resignation and you realize that you yourself are desperate for a change. Change of what? You don't know yet. As the day goes on at work, you realize that while you feel that there must be more to life than this, you also feel that your work is comfortable. You get a paycheck, you have a social life, and even if you were to reinvent yourself, you can't just get up and leave everything. It's not just you. What would others say about you? Your spouse, your co-workers, your friends. Yes, we want to stand out. We want to be unique, but not so unique that it draws unwanted attention to us. That is called the zebra effect, by the way. Have you ever asked yourself why zebras have black and white stripes? She does not camouflage them well, right? Right. But what it does do is that it camouflages them amongst the group. So when a predator comes, even if the predator identifies you as a possible target, it becomes very difficult to distinguish you from the rest of the group. And that might save your life. And our desire to blend in somehow is equally an instinct of ours to save us from the dangers of life. But is there possibly a way to reinvent yourself without feeling overwhelmed? It can be quite disheartening when you look at others and you see how it seems very easy for them to change their life and in such a short period of time. What chance do you stand against them? But maybe it's also useful to look at those examples a little bit closer. I changed careers myself from being a senior finance leader to a commercial airline pilot and to the outside world all of that change took place in less than a year, which is mind-blowing for such a big change. But the reality is that it took much, much longer. It took three or four years of a conscious effort to save up from my salary to pay for flight lessons. It took up a few years of me getting my hands on any possible flight magazine because I was interested. And even before that, I started to take private pilot lessons and I didn't even know where that might lead me eventually. The next time you look at somebody and are envious about how they reinvented their whole life, think about the possibility that it was probably the result of many, many incremental changes that brought them to the place where they are today. With that knowledge in hand, all you want to do now is getting started. You take out your notebook, write down all the things that you want to achieve. You get excited about it until you realize that even if you give yourself enough time to do everything, it still feels overwhelming. Maybe reinventing yourself isn't for you, but luckily there is a better way. It starts with writing down your fears. Fear is a great motivator. For example, I was fearing that I would end up doing the same thing over and over again. And that fear was greater than maybe the risk of losing a little bit of income. And that made me change my career. So what is it that you fear? Is it that you fear not having the flexibility of work hours or not having enough time for your family? Or maybe you fear that you're spending your time on tasks that for you are not truly meaningful. So after you have identified your fear, and yes, I'm challenging you to only pick one, then we can remember what we learned about change. That even though it can look dramatic, it's often incremental. The biggest pitfall when it comes to reinventing ourselves is that we try too much at once. And yes, your inner voice will now tell you that if you just do one habit at a time, you achieve nothing. Even if you do it well, that change that you want to see will take forever. But you know what will take forever? Listing 10 things that you want to change, starting every single one of them, and after two weeks get so overwhelmed that you bin the whole idea and go back to your life of coffee, work, and Netflix. Now that you've identified your fear and the habit that you want to achieve, go and find some allies. Speak to your spouse or your boss or your co-workers. I know it's not a great idea to share the huge, big plans of our life with everyone around us. It reduces your energy and it also exposes you to some critical thinking that you don't need. But when it comes to habits, 
that's different. It makes you accountable. You don't want to lose face in front of your friends. Plus the people that you speak to, they might have a few ideas that make your journey easier. Now you're on the path of reinventing yourself and there is another problem. Because a couple of weeks into it, it doesn't feel like anything has changed. All you've done is implement a simple habit and because you don't see any immediate results, it's very easy at this stage to either give up or conclude that you must be doing something wrong or should be doing something different. This is where you need to trick your brain. See, it will work over time on all the things that don't have an impact unless you keep it active and engaged. And you might feel compelled to just choose another habit that might be helpful, but you don't want to forget the first one that you just started. So rather stack one habit on top of the one that you just implemented. So if you went to work an hour early to work on something that you find meaningful, why not journal about it on your way home? Now you're not only doing something meaningful, you're also reflecting on it. And once you start doing that consistently, you see changes, dramatic changes. And this is where you face your biggest challenge yet. Things that you loved start to disappear. Your biggest fear comes true. Reinventing yourself is a nice idea, but this new world does not feel like anything you wanted. It's not only in religion that we need to be reborn. Whenever we pursue growth, some of the old you dies. Do you cling on to that or do you embrace it? It was Casey Neistat's video demonstrating how life works. So there is something worthwhile on the other side of reinventing yourself. It's just one simple habit away that stands between you and a path of your life that's truly worth living. If you love this message, please share it on your Facebook and Instagram. I really appreciate you. See you next time. Take care.